All right, today we have some Historic Autographs 2023 flight cards. These are going to depict various events in history, and in the introduction of flight. And then just on the front, we have Amelia Earhart, we have the Hindenburg disaster, and we have the moon landing. There's, I think, 70 cards in the base set. As you can see, there's 12 packs per box, eight cards per pack. And there's different relics you can find. Uh, some of the more morbid ones is there's pieces of the Hindenburg you can find on cards and other various things. Uh, we'll go into a little bit more details as we progress here. But historic autographs kind of releases cards like this, you know, World War II history, um, Civil War, American history. A lot of different aspects, but this is their flight version. So let's get it open. As you can see there, the odds of pulling the different relics. There's one one sketch cards, which one in fourteen hundred packs. Print and plates, one in three hundred twenty six, which I did. Did open one of these boxes already, and I did pull a print and plate. Uh, nice thing about these sets is they usually do include a booklet that has information on the set as well as the uh, cards included. So you see there, 70 cards, 41 through 70 are short prints. And then it would go into the different relics. There's autograph cards. There's the Hindenburg relics, Apollo 11 relics, Apollo 14 relics. We have flight flown stuff from Charles Lindbergh, Howard Hughes flag relic, Neil Armstrong. I'm not sure, but, uh, Michael Jordan. Um, not sure why that's in there, but. And these cards were harvested from a jacket and pants suit combo, personally worn it by Michael Jordan. Why is that in here? And then it's William Shatner. Oh, maybe because Space Jam. Uh, <laughs> that's that's an interesting one. Apollo 9. And then some film clip cards. Different space movies. Yeah, Space Jam was on there, so that, that makes sense. Now, uh, 1-1 one, one art cards. Apollo 9. And uh, I think that's that's it. Here's the packs. I always like the packaging on these. Kind of cool. Got the Wright Brothers there. As well as... Uh, Apollo 11 landing. This is probably Neil Armstrong. All right, let's get into these packs. Oh, let's look at them first. Uh, there we got the card uh, odds again. Copyright information. A little closer look at the fronts. Let's get going here. Okay, Grand Canyon Mid-Air Collision. I don't know anything about this one. 1956, with the first commercial airline accident with more than 100 deaths. Douglas DC-9 and a Lockheed L-1049 collided. The International Space Station. So this is one of the parallels. See a little effect around the card. The Red Baron. Famous German pilot. Abracht von Richthofen. Most successful fighter ice of the Great War. 80 air combat victories between 1916 and 1918. That one to the side. Chuck Yeager. Another great 
test flight captains. First man to fly faster than the speed of sound. Everyone thought that when that happened, like the plane would just explode or something would, even worse would happen. Like uh, <laughs> time would break or something. Got the Hindenburg disaster. Horrific event. <laughs> B2 rocket. Yeah, the EFJ-1 Fury. I don't know much about that. First Navy's first operational jet fighter. First jet to take off and land from aircraft carrier at sea. Now I know. Amelia Earhart. And I did notice from opening one box, you pretty much complete the base set. Evil Knievel. I wonder why this one's in here. Flight. I guess you're jumping over canyons. The Leonard Skinner plane crash. 1977. Series of errors and problems. The plane was known to have faulty fuel gauge. Pites did not manually check actual fuel levels before takeoff. And one engine burnt more fuel than it should have. And uh, that was a. Uh, Travesty. Got the Murphy Redstone one. It's one of the parallel cards. Alan Shepard. First American in space. 1961 was launched into suborbital flight aboard Mercury capsule Freedom 7. It's got a drone card there. Jean Mermoz. Did not know this person. The French Lindbergh was the daredevil father of international air mail, pioneering air routes to deliver mail in record time. He ended his career in 1922. In 24, he joined, uh, I'm not going to try to say that, <laughs> Prede uh, predecessor to Air Apostle, so I'm guessing like the French Air Force. Buzz Aldrin, another Lindbergh card, and on to the next pack. Joan Merriam Smith. Uh, she finished the flight that Amelia Earhart started from the first woman to fly solo around the equator in a twin engine plane. Everyone knows Captain Sully and the plane on the Hudson. That Tom Hanks is playing in a movie. Messerschmitt BF 109. Eric Hartman. Jacqueline. Ariel. France's most famous female aviator was a test pilot for the Concorde supersonic airplane and the Goblin powered de Havilland DH 100. Wernher von Braun. Jean Francis. Lothar de Razier, sure I'm get that right. Mary Jackson, it's her story. First black female aerospace engineer at NASA. Got artificial satellites. Sally Ride. It's the first American woman to fly in space. The youngest American astronaut and the first acknowledged gay astronaut. A lot of firsts on that one. Albert Scott Crossfield. 
have a name I don't really know. I'm learning lots of stuff today. Mr. Space was the first man to fly Mach 2 and the first to pilot the X-15 space plane. Chuck Yeager again. Yeah, Hindenburg disaster. V2 rocket. A lot of duplicate cards there. Molly Earhart. And did we not? I don't think we got a parallel that time. We did not. It is not one per pack. The United Airlines 629, another famous plane crash. Krista McAlfey. Cal McAlfey? Butchering these names. First civilian to fly into space. Teacher in space project. Didn't even know about that one. Here's our parallel Union Army Balloon Corps. And then right next to it is the base version. We got Anthony Le Levier, legendary test pilot and daredevil. Flew the first flight of the U 2 and the XB 80. Zeppelins, Da Vinci, Katherine Johnson, black physicist and mathematician figured out the paths for spacecraft to orbit the Earth and land on the moon. These are cool. Just like I said, you, you learn things. Always like sets of cards that do that. And their plane crash, TWA Flight 800. Unfortunately, now we get into a lot of morbid stuff. The Southwest Airlines 932. This is our parallel, Jean Mermoz. Eric Hartman. Jacqueline Ariel. And again, these are, it looks like a bunch of duplicates again. Lots of duplicates. Let's wait and see what uh, relic we pull. I don't know if they're guaranteed. Air Force One. All of 13. B 51 Mustang. Another balloon. Zeppelin. Da Vinci. Evan Johnson, so many duplicates. But it's not a big set either. It's only 70 cards. There's 12 cards per pack. At least 11 of them are base cards. Challenger, Apollo 11, Evil Knievel, the Red Baron, James Doolittle, Yuri Gungarin. Dorothy Vaughn. Grand Canyon, oh, that's the first card we have. And here is our relic. It is a piece of film. From Mercury Atlas 9, Gordon Cooper, 1963. And kind of hard to see the film cells. One of 125. So there's a print run of 125. Authentic 35 millimeter film clip. And I can't, I can barely see it. But it definitely looks like some uh, landing on the some surface moon. I don't know the movie. I'll have to look that one up. Kind of cool though. Nola Gay. Zeppelin again. And Buzz Aldrin. Three more packs. 
I doubt we're going to get another relic or anything. But we will check just in case. Blue Angels. I remember growing up loving the Blue Angels. I'm showing up at the air shows, doing their tricks. A lot more into flight when I was younger. Not as much these days. Tuskegee Airmen. The Blackbird. We got the NASA in this in the parallel version, which is pretty cool. Neil Armstrong. And then we have the, the base NASA guard. I believe this is the last pack. John Glenn. This is piles getting a little too big. George Bush. Why is he on a card? First president flew 58 combat missions. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Wright Brothers, Ed White, and Howard Hughes. All right, we ended up with 95 cards total. Since the pack with the film clip only had seven, our final outcome here is 95 cards total, 62 of the base set with 26 additional duplicates. We got five foils, a deluxe foil, and the film clip card. Here we have the five foils, four of them being print runs of 600, and the Mercury Redstone being a print run of 300. And finally, we have the film clip card from Mercury Atlas 9 with a print run of 125. And probably the, the biggest hit would be the serial numbered Evil Knievel, 47 of 49. Thought it was an interesting set, but a little inconsistent with its theming. But that's all for today. Till next time.